Hello and welcome to Algebra 2, Chapter 3.5, and today we're going to graph linear equations in three variables. So welcome to the three-dimensional coordinate system. Okay, the uh, xy coordinate plane is called the horizontal plane. Okay, so this is the xy coordinate plane down here. It's horizontal. It would be the one that would come out at you, like horizontally. Uh, the z-axis is the vertical axis. Okay. And so what you have is you have eight octants. You'd have like four on the front, four on the back. And you're going to graph ordered triples. Okay. So an ordered triple has an x, a y, and a z coordinate. And as with ordered pairs, you'd graph the x, you'd move the x first, then the y, and then the z. So let's look how exactly would you graph an ordered triple. So if we were going to plot 2, 3, 5. You'd start at the origin, and I know this doesn't have any tick marks, but you'd come out 2 on the x-axis. Then the y-axis runs left and right, and since it's positive, you'd go to the right 3 tick marks. Those are supposed to be even. <laughs> so they would line up with your tick marks. They'd come out parallel like this. Okay, and so that would bring you to here, and then we would rise 5, 2, 3, 4, 5, and again that would be even 4. So you're not necessarily up to this point here because these are going to, they they're coming out at you, so they're kind of at an angle there. Okay, well let's graph one on our own and see how we do. So we're going to plot the order triple 3, negative 1, negative 5. And so keep in mind, these are your positive x's come this way, your positive y's come this way, and your positive z's go up. So uh, 3 for the x, and you wouldn't necessarily drop it, so you can, actually I'll do my little, so come out 3 on the x, 1, 2, 3, negative 1. So we're going to go left, 1 space, so it needs to be equal to this space here, so just go left, 1 space, and then you're going to go down 5 from where you are, just counting what it looks to be these intervals. So we're going to go down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Right there is where you're going to put your point. Okay, so let's look at another one from the origin. So this time x is negative 5, so we're going to go back 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We're going to go to the right 3 from where we are. 1, 2, 3, and we're going to go up 4 from where we are. 1, 2, 3, 4. So it looks like we're just above what the, where it appears to be the z-axis there. All right, that's graphing one ordered triple. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to graph a linear equation. The deal with a linear equation is that in 3D space, it graphs a plane. So we're not just graphing a line, we're graphing a plane. So our equations are going to be in the form ax plus by plus cz equals d. And all a, b, and c can't be 0 because we have no x, y, or z then. Um, the plane you graph, every ordered triple in that plane is a solution. So they would all work in that, that equation. And we're actually we're going to graph part of a plane. Let me show you. We're going to graph 3x minus 12y plus 5z equals 30. And we're going to graph it using the intercepts. Okay? And so to find your x-intercept, it's on the x-axis. Well, on the x-axis, y and z are both 0. So if I make y and z both 0, I'm going to get 3x equals 30 x is 10. So my y-intercept is 10. You're just going to put a point at 10. Okay, and then we're going to find our y-intercept. Well, at our y-intercept, x and z are both 0. So that's going to be negative 12y equals 30. y equals negative 15, 6, which is negative, let's see, 5 halves. So on the y axis, negative 5 halves. And then our z intercept, well, at our z intercept, 
y and x are both 0, so it's going to be 5z equals 30. z equals 6. We're going to go up to 6. All right, and you're going to grab a straight edge because this is going to look nicer with a straight edge, but you're going to connect all of these, and I know they don't make a great triangle, but they're going to make a triangle. <laughs> I promise they make kind of a triangle. Okay, and then you're going to shade it in. And yours is going to look better than mine, trust me. All right, so we have a triangle that we've shaded in. Let me show you what it really looks like. Here is a picture of that whole entire plane. What we just did, though, is we only graphed that part of it. We graphed this part of the plane that connects the intercepts. So that's a lot easier than graphing the whole entire plane. But if you take that triangle we made and you extend it out, this is a whole entire plane that we are graphing. So let's do one, actually. Let's move on to something else. Last thing we're going to talk about in this video is a function in two variables. So, so far we've only ever done functions in one variable. So now we're going to do a function with respect to two variables. So f of x, y is a function in which both x and y are variables. What this means is that you're going to solve for z and replace z, so this equals z, equals z. Just like f of x equals y, f of x, y equals z. So solve for z, replace z with f of x, y. Okay, so write 3x minus 12y plus 5z equals 30 as a function of x and y. So we said solve for z, so let's get rid of x and y. Okay, so 12, 5z equals negative 3x plus 12y plus 30. And we're going to divide everything by 5. So let's just write f of x, y equals negative 3x plus 12y plus 30 all over 5. There is my function of two variables. And then you're going to evaluate, so this is going to be f of negative 2, 2. It's going to be negative 3 times negative 2 plus 12 times positive 2 plus 30 all over 5. 6 plus 24 plus 30. So 30 plus 30 is 60 divided by 5 would be 12, possibly. There we go. All right, let me know if you have any questions, and if not, I'll see you in class. Have a great day.